Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie from the edtechwizard.com and here on my channel you're going to find videos all about teaching with technology and becoming the best online teacher you can be. And since you're here I just want to take a moment and say thank you. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for your feedback, for um, saying my videos are helpful. I have greatly appreciate um, your feedback for me so I want to say thank you for for you and for watching. So, um, like I said, for from feedback from you guys, I've heard a lot about Google Slides, and you guys, my fellow um, tech wizards, have wanted to know more about Google Slides and how to use them in your classroom and what can you do with them. So, based off of what you guys um, wanted more of, I am so excited to bring this to you today. It is today and officially. Um, registration opens for my Google Slides workshop. So this is a, going to be a one hour live workshop and I'm going to teach you everything. Well, okay, maybe not everything. There's so much Google Slides can do. I can't cover it all in an hour, but I'm gonna teach you the most important stuff. So by the end of this workshop, you are gonna walk away ready and confident to use Google Slides to enhance your lessons, to update your lessons, to add in those interactive features that your students will love and those features that are going to keep your students coming back to you. So what is my Google Slides workshop? Why am I so excited to bring this to you and what can it do for you? So in this workshop, I'm going to show you how you can kick your lessons up a notch by adding in um, some simple features or adding in the games or whatnot. So one example is adding sound. I'm gonna show you how to add sound, which is so simple, but it gives your students another sense to help them learn. If you have an animal class, you can listen to a sound clip for what that animal sounds like. You know, all those reptiles, alligators, dolphins, how often do students get to actually hear that? Well, now they can very often in your class. Maybe you're teaching a class and it is a busy New York street or uh, on a farm on a fall day. Have those sounds into your lesson so you can paint the picture and get your students more involved in the lesson. So that's a simple, simple way you can add, add value to your lessons for your students. Another is slide transitions. I'm going to go over those slide transitions um, and that is what is happening in between your slides as you are teaching. So what, mixing in those slide transitions is going to be a quick and easy attention grabber for your students to help them stay focused on your lesson in between each slide while you're taking a break from talking. The next slide is coming in. What cool thing is going to happen that you're going to be like, whoa, what's going to happen next? You can also create games right in Google Slides. And this probably is by far my favorite because if you know me, I love games. I love playing games with my students and it helps keep up their engagement. They're participating, they want to play and they are learning and having fun at the same time. That is what is the most important. And then after your lesson, after they've played a game with you and had fun, they're gonna remember that they had fun with you in your class and they're going to want to come back so games are a great way to hold your students attention keep them interested coming back so i'm going to show you how to create a game animation is a lot of fun to add into your lessons and adding animation that is what your words on your slide and what your images what are they doing on their slides are they zooming in are they zooming out um are they going to disappear I am going to show you how to add those animations, but I'm also going to show you how to, again, take it up a notch and create a story with the animations. So your characters of a story are moving as you are telling the story, all with the click of a button. It is beyond so cool. It is so cool. Oh, so cool. Um, and one more thing I wanted to show you is drag and drop activity. How can you create a drag and drop activity? And if you think about it, when you create a drag and drop activity with Google Slides, the, you can go as far as your imagination will take you. You can create a drag and drop for um, you're sorting things. You're sorting things. They need to go in categories. You need to create a diagram. 
and certain words are going to go certain places. You can match term to definition. I bet you have an activity in your Google slide, any Google slide lesson right now that you could turn into a drag and drop activity. I bet you do look through your lessons and see what can I turn into a drag and drop activity. That's going to get my students to get engagement and excitement in what we're learning. So I'm going to teach you all of this and more in my live Google slides workshop. I am so excited for this. So excited for this. So it's going to be September 30th and October 1st. I have two dates. You can pick which one um, will work for you, which time will work better and whatnot. But if you can't make it to the live, don't worry about it. You can still buy my Google slides mini course. You'll get access to all of the video um, trainings that I will go over in my workshop in that course. So you'll be able to have full access to everything that I want to show you. And by the end, again, you'll be able to put these and in, implement into your own lesson and you'll be ready to go. So I'm just so excited for this. I can't wait to see you there. Bye.